Welcome to Longmaston Airfield. It was built in 1940 and officially opened in 1941 as RAF Longmaston. It was constructed in the fairly typical and classic RAF A configuration comprising of three runways, the main runway being 1500 yards long but later being extended to 2400 yards. Despite this runway extension it didn't stop Flight Lieutenant Gilden from overshooting the runway in 1944. His Tomahawk fighter went off the end of the runway and tipped onto its nose end. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. A little bit of a war later and the airfield ceased its RAF activity in 1954. It was then handed back to the original landowner who went about hiring it out to various organisations and businesses. In 1973, drag racing started on the site. However, it wasn't until 1980 that it became a permanent feature. They called it Longmaston Raceway and it can lay claim to being the UK's first drag strip. Hosting a variety of events and races, Longmaston Raceway soon grew to become one of the UK's most popular drag strips. It wasn't just drag racing though, the raceway soon became home to many weekend music events. In 1987, the Hells Angels held the first Bulldog Bash event. What started as a small motorcycle gathering grew in popularity over the years, and by 2007, it was attracting up to 50,000 visitors a day. The Bulldog Bash was always seen as the biker event run by bikers for bikers. Biker, biker, biker. 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 And I think that probably goes a long way to explain its popularity. The Hells Angels even took care of things like security, so it was very rare that the local authorities needed to be called, so no wonder the event flourished. In 1990, the raceway changed its name and became Avon County Raceway. And later that decade, in 1996, the ever popular Bulldog Bash event was underway. And it was here that motorcycle legend Eddie Kidd was lining up to do, to be honest, a fairly tame jump by his standards, 15 metres or so over the drag strip. What started as a simple jump ended in life-changing injuries for Eddie when his motorcycle impacted the bank behind me and he was knocked unconscious on the petrol tank before falling several metres off the short landing area. It's very unlikely that Eddie's ever going to see our pokey YouTube channel, but if you ever do, thank you very much, mate. You're an absolute legend. The final name change came in 2008 when it became known as Shakespeare County Raceway and racing continued for several years after. But in 2017, the site was sold off to developers and that was finalised in 2018 consigning Shakespeare County Raceway to the history books. What remains today, currently at the time of filming, is the original drag strip, start line, finish line, no one cares. And that concludes today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name is John. You've been watching Auto Shenanigans. Mm -hmm.